All right, we're going straight, burnt sienna. A little bit of white. Maybe more white than that. This is for like the backdrop of this guy. Hopefully I'm picking up some of the magic white here. I just want it to look like there's sand blowing everywhere. some blue in the brush though. Oh well. Oh well. That's kind of all I want for this guy. I don't really want that much. Alright, let's see. I got a plan where I want these to be. Let's see, let's see. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that's not a straight line. We've already messed up. All right, there's one. Where's the second one? Right here. Maybe he comes off the side. <laughs> All right, here's our plan. Two pyramids. Maybe a rock here. Maybe a path in front. And then... Hmm, what else? Bigger rock? No, big rock over here. Big rock over here. This is just path. There we go. <laughs> here we go, here we go. All right. It's going to be tough, but we can do it. All right. Bird sienna. Black. A big pile of it. This is going to be the shadow side of the... Pyramids. Pyramids plural. I'm gonna make two of them. So if we mess up the first one, <laughs> then we'll have the second one. Alright. Let's see. This is a this is a triangle. So that's the outline. If we're looking at it straight on, but we wouldn't be looking at it straight on. We're gonna look at it. Oh well, I gotta do this careful. Not like that. Like that. So this is going to be like the back side. I'm already trying to make it straight. There we go. That's straight. Too much paint up there. All right. I think this is the this is the point. Make sure it's pointy. <laughs> Can't have a non-pointy. Pyramid. That would just be silly. Alright, and I'm going to blend it out because I'm just going to layer on more colors on this. Oof. The edges are terrifying to make. Got a one side of the pyramid in. Whew. All right, now we got to do the other side, and this is going to be brighter, so we can probably just use this white. Let's see. Like, yeah, this should be okay. I need a little bit darker than the sky. That's the thing. I can probably just go over this other one that I drew in. It doesn't really matter. cover it up if we don't like it. Alright. Now we gotta make the uh, 
Now throw in some bricks. Throw in some bricks. All right, to that, I'm gonna use this brownish color, some white burnt sienna, and some more of the dark color. And now, I might start, where do I wanna start? Where do I wanna start? Hmm. Let's start at the top, work our way down. We're just going to start tapping. And these should be, I believe these should be down to the left. And if I'm not doing that, I apologize. I think I just did them straight across. <laughs> they should be down to the left. Just a little bit, though. Might need to straighten up the back side after I do this. But that's easy enough. Yeah, my thought process here is to make little tiny bricks, you kind of have to do them like you do shingles on a, on a cabin. So that's all I'm doing here. Now that we're in the middle, I can use the, the full side of the knife. Silly. All right, here we go. This is going to take a ton of paint. It's going to be very, very, very slow. There's probably a better way to do this. I don't know how else I would do it, though. But I'm sure somebody will have a friendly worded YouTube comment about it when I'm done. Or it'll just be a bot. That's usually most of the comments that I get. Somebody trying to scam me on crypto. It's okay. <laughs> we gotta go over the side though. Just move them out a little bit. like a pyramid yet? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. All right. I'm going to need some more. Probably not this color. But we're going to need some sienna and white. That's more the color that I wanted the first time, but that's okay. All right. Getting the tiny roll on the edge. I should have put a more dark color down there first. Oh well. That's why we got the second one. Further side, I can use the big, big part of the knife. There we go. Just tapping in, going straight across. This will take a while. But I'm going to stop when I get to the part where I wanted the second one to be, which is like right here. And you can also tap and pick up more of the paint, like, to go back over it. It makes it look like there's even more details, but I'm just kind of speed running the pyramid right now. Tap 
Grab some here. Some here. And then a little bit more towards this left side. So it's not going to be covered up by the other pyramid. And if you really want to take your time on this, you can use the flat brush and do individual br bricks. That's also an option I could have done. I have a small, I think it's a Kevin Hill brand here, or, uh, brush for acrylic painting. But it works really well for making little tiny rocks, little tiny boards, cabins and stuff. I don't use it very often, but it works pretty good. Would be worth worth using for the bricks. All right, and then I might take some. This is some actual, just like straight black. I just want to kind of touch on the top, and then in between, in between the two sides. Just to add like a solid line between them. And then I'll use white and white in that color for the other side. This side. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> We're learning. Learning how to paint pyramids. I'm sure there's a someone has a YouTube video on how to do this. Could have watched it beforehand. All right, let's see. Want another pyramid in here? This one's gonna be more pointy. I gotta make sure I do them right. This is gonna be right here. Big strokes, big strokes. Hey, not looking bad. <laughs> Could be better. We're, we're learning. We're learning here. All right. And this one comes in a little bit. Not straight up and down because geometry. Oh, get the thick. Got too much paint up here at the top. There we go. Pull it down. left side then we can use this other brush pull this down just a little bit kind of just want to take off as much paint here as I can Add some more white to it. Same deal. Oh, <laughs> not on the fan brush though. We need points. Needs to look sharp. Almost messed that one up. I don't think I have enough paint here though. Oh. Alright, this one, let's see. It's not a perfect triangle. It's going to be a little bit wider to this side. Maybe he goes off, off the side. This is still burnt sienna. 
white, titanium white for this side. For the other side, it was just the same colors, but uh, a little more sienna. challenging. Alright, we got that side. We got this side. Let me just throw that in. Kind of stiff them up a little bit here at the bottom. Just moving colors around. Whew. Next stream, could you paint Bob Ross 22 episode 11 or 12 episode 5? Sure. I might already have some of those, but I don't know if I have uh, recordings of them, but I didn't, uh, I don't know if I actually uploaded them anywhere. A lot of them I just have on my hard drive, but I'll make a note, remind myself. Is there, do you have a preference on one or the other, or just either one? Season 22, episode 11, and it was my first attempt. Oh, yeah. The Bob Ross Seascapes are one of my favorites. They're really fun. All right, now we gotta, we got to do the uh, sides here. Let's see if there's anything we could have done better. values of it. I'll start at the bottom this time. Maybe that was the mistake. Ooh, this is darker. I don't know if I like that. That's pretty good. I might use the, um, I might try that other brush here, but we'll see. See how this goes. Just tapping. <laughs> Just trying different stuff here. touch up some of the sides here too. I think my AC just turned off. Yeah, there we go. Just 
and a tap here and there, maybe that's some highlight. That doesn't look too bad. I think it was a little too dark. All right, let's use this whitish color here. Actually, I don't think that's going to stand out at all. Get some more white. All right, let's see if this works. There we go. Nope. Too much pressure. Such calm, relaxing joy to watch. I really enjoy watching your episodes. Keep up the great work. All right, thank you. Will do. I'll probably keep painting as long as I can. Unless something else comes up. Takes up all my time. Hopefully not. Hopefully I can do this for a long time. Oh, wrong side of the knife. When we get towards the top, we gotta use this little side. Somebody outside is blasting music. I don't know if you can hear it. This is very, <laughs> very, very loud. Ooh, that actually came out really good. There we go. I might just use this side for the rest of the, the midsection there. Kind of looks better with the small side of the knife than the big big one that I was doing. There we go. Almost done here. Wasn't too bad. Now if you're doing this, if someone is watching and they want to try this, I would, my only recommendation that I've learned so far is to do this really slow. This is not a, this is not something you want to rush. Putting in these little bricks. And if you want, I mean, I can try using the little brush. Maybe I will just try it. Let's see. Do I have him over here? Oh, no, he's not over here. Let me, one second. I'll go find him. Where are you, little? There he is. Little flat brush. Oh, he's rock solid, though. Might have to wash him out. This would have been, if I was thinking, thinking ahead, I would have used this little brush. This is a... I forget what brand. I think it's a Kevin Hill. Yeah, Kevin Hill uh, collection. He's got a, a quarter inch flat. This is a little tiny flat brush. Really, really great for doing like, if I wanted to do bricks here, I would just toot, 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 toot. I could have done that all the way across. But you live and you learn. So we can do that next time if I ever in the future decide to do pyramid painting again. We'll see. Alright. Um, what did we do on the other one? Oh, we did the uh, we did the black highlight. Ivory black in the middle. So let's just do that real quick. Straighten him out. Hope I'm, my arm's not in the way. There we go. And we'll highlight the other side. Burnt sienna and white. A little bit brighter though. There we go. That's looking nice. Just like a giant log cabin. <laughs> Alright. And then I can use that umber or ochre and actually I can add that to the white. Here and there, not too up. Too much of this, just a little bit. Like the sun's hitting those bricks, maybe. Hopefully, it's not too bad. There we go. There we go. All right. 
So we got two big old pyramids out here in the in the rough. What do we want to do? <laughs> this is actually looking really amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad someone thinks that. Alright. If one person thinks that, that's good enough. Maybe we had some rocks in in front. I think that's what I wanted to do. I think I said I wanted some... Oh, these would be... These would probably be like ruins though. So we maybe want... want like actual brick looking things down here. For that I just use a small side of the knife. Maybe like they're stacked up. And I could also add a shadow. Maybe I'll do that too. A shadow behind. And then, yeah, let's just do that first before we get too far into it. Use this uh, brown color. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta crunch the numbers here. Do the calculations. Mm. All right, there's one. Mm, there's two. He goes off the side, so we don't have to worry about him. <laughs> Just doing some quick trigonometry in my brain. Lights and shadows. <laughs> here we go. All right, now let's throw in the uh, I think it was umber I was using here. Some brick-like things over here, and I'll highlight these here in a sec. I could also add in like a camel or something. I don't know. Maybe that's being too ambitious. <laughs> Rename it to trigonometry by Nate. Oh, trigonometry. That was my least favorite class. I was generally terrible at math. That's why I do computer stuff now. I'll just get the computer to tell me what the right answer is. And do a camel? Oh. <laughs> I could try, I could try. I gotta highlight these little rocks first, or bricks here. That might be too much. No, that's good, that's good. If you leave little gaps in them, that makes them look like they're uh, different bricks. I forget who I learned that from. I think that was Kevin Hill. He was explaining how to paint uh, stones. And to get the stones to look like they're more than one, you have to have dark in between them. It seems kind of obvious once you've done it, but if you haven't done it before, it's not very obvious. There we go. Got some stones there. All right, we got stones. I feel like I should add some in the middle there. Just a couple. They can be lighter. I can actually probably use this color in umber and ochre and burnt sienna. These are in the middle between them, so the light here is going to be a little weird, but I can figure it out. We can figure it out. It's going to hit the side. Up here, over there, up here, over there. Here's like pillars or something, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just painting stuff. I'm just painting rocks and stones, whatever. Just practicing. There we go. And then those need some shadows too. Since they're standing up. Not too much. I don't want to ruin it. Although someone out there is probably already saying that it's been ruined. Alright. So 
we got a bunch of stones, we got pyramids, we got some semblance of a path. You say you, say you want a camel. Alright, let's try it. Let's see. I never painted a camel before. Actually, let's use the detail round. Or not detail round. What is this? What brush is this? Sable combo round. It's got a very small rounded top. That's what we need for painting these camels. We could make them giant camels, like mutant camels, but to, to scale the pyramid, they probably need to be relatively small. But actually, I do need to... <laughs> one of these times I'll actually do it. All right, here we go. We gotta do a, we gotta do a little bit of a path first. I just gotta kind of know where it is. Where's the edge? The edge is up here. Okay, there's the edge. Throw in dark paint and blend it out. It's probably blown all over every which way because of the it's just all sand here. To make it look like it's blown, you just kind of do left, right, left, right. That makes it look like it's moving all over. side a little bit more. Alright, we can cover this up I think with a giant boulder. There's the plan. There's the plan, folks. First we need a camel. <laughs> what do camels even look like? I got a I got a little face. There's a face, a little head. And they got a hump. They got a big old hump on the back. That's all I know about camels. That looks more like a snail. <laughs> well, we can give them a little leg. Back leg. Maybe he has two humps and a tail. This one looks like he's running. <laughs> Alright. There's a camel. Maybe we'll do more than one. Maybe it's people riding on camels. Alright, there's his neck. And there's his hump. A couple humps. Little legs. And a little tail. Do a third one. Might as well. I might as well do three. Why not? Little head. Little bump. Little bump. Little tail. Legs. And then let's see. Maybe put a person on them. I don't even know what people on camels look like. The first one actually kind of looks like there's a person on them. Looks like he's back there, but we can put him in the middle. <laughs> Nobody looking at this will have any idea what I'm doing. We gotta throw in a little bit of shadow underneath. Cause they have shadows too. Even if they're small, they still have shadows. There we go. All right, we got three little camels, little people riding on them. We got pyramids, we got stones. Whew. Let's close it in. Let's close it in, folks. Let's, let's do it. All the browns, all the browns mixed together, maybe the ochre too. Every color. I'm gonna throw this in over here. This will be our, uh, what is this? Uh, Bounding stone. I forget what the word is. It is like straight up, like a straight up cliff or something. I don't know. We just gotta close this in. That's all I know. We gotta close all this in. Straight down. Scrape off some to transfer it into that corner. 
and then come back across to blend it out a little tiny bit so you don't see the weeds in the canvas as much. All right, there's a, there's a rock. And we gotta give them a little highlight. And then, I don't know, I think after that we're probably good. This, this has been an interesting painting for sure. Ochre, white, and brown. Maybe some red, actually. Sometimes I like adding red in there. Might be pink, but I like it. There we go. I like a little bit on the side. I'm just gonna pull straight down. One down. Maybe there's a space in the middle. A little bit up there. Some more down here. There we go. There's our boulder. Ugh. <laughs> that was fun. Should we do anything over here? Maybe a little bullet? Nah. I think we're good. I could probably add just a little tiny one. Just a little tiny baby boulder. There you go. He's got a shadow. He's not as bright. He's on the shadow side. Here we go. All right. I think that's a good point to stop and reflect. <laughs> Those are too bad. This is a learning experience for sure. Pyramids. Who would have thought? All right, we've got to get some oil and a script liner. And then wave that around. This is a script liner with a uh, thin linseed oil and naphthol red. I don't go see it too much on that rock, but that's okay. I like it when my signature is camouflaged. Kind of like a Where's Waldo type thing. Here we go, 22. I always put the dates too. Just so I have it organized. All right, let's take it down. Looks good. Great job. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I got paint all over my fingers. Here we go. Pyramids. Never would have thought I'd be painting pyramids on, on stream, but here we are. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you'll try it too.